I receive a fair amount of questions about tools that people see in the background of my videos. And one of them that receives the most questions is this drill press behind me. And usually they center on, have I had any problems with it? Is it worth the money? But a couple of people have asked me the question, do I plan on building a drill press table for it? And the answer is no, I have no immediate plans for a drill press table because I'm not one to build a shop project for the sake of building shop projects. And that is just something that I haven't felt like I've needed. However, a drum sander or an oscillating sander is something that I've been wanting for a very long time. So I think I'll take care of that need today. I have an idea for the drum. That shouldn't be too hard. Sanding, however, can kick up some fine dust particles that I'd like to keep out of the air. So I want an effective dust collection system. I think the best way to accomplish that is to build a base unit to be used with the drum. I want to cut the base piece first. So I'm going to add half an inch to this measurement. I'll adjust the fence with my alignment jig. Now I want to do the same thing for this measurement, add half an inch. So I'll switch to the miter gauge, mark out the measurement, and make my cut. Now that the base is cut, I need some side panels. I've decided on four inches for no apparent reason. Now I'm going to use dados to join the sides and the bottom of the base unit. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I like to use the miter gauge and the table saw to cut dados. However, I can't use those here because I'm going the length of the board, but I'm still going to use the table saw. I have this piece of scrap here and I've ran it through the table saw, removing the kerf of the blade. I'll place it here, then set the fence as I normally would with my alignment jig and clamp it to the rip fence. Then make a single pass with the pieces I want dados in. Remove the scrap piece, then make another pass without moving the rip fence. That will establish the two sides of the dado. Now all I have to do is clear the material between the two cuts. Now that I have the dados cut, I'll cut the sides to length. I'm going to glue the box together right on the drill press to ensure a snug fit. If the dados fit like they're supposed to, they should stay in place without assistance. Cut the top to size. I've added an inch to the measurement to give me some overhang for clamping space if I should ever need it. Clamp the top in place and grab some lunch. Now that this is dry, I'll take it with me over to the workstation and drill a hole in the top for the sanding drum. I had something I was going to do with this backside, but I decided against it, which is why I'm closing it now. Drill a hole for the shop back. All right, the base is done. Now it's time for the drum. This scrap two by six left over from the garden planter will be happy to donate. I have a quarter inch bolt with a one and a quarter inch washer. A half inch washer, a lock washer, and a nut. Take everything back to the drill press. Now, most likely the drum is not gonna run true, and mine is not. So this next step I found required a little patience and a little thought. 80 grit sandpaper on a sanding block and hold steady till she evens out. After adding some 120 grit sandpaper and connecting the shop back hose, it's time for a test run.
The dust collection is working better than I hoped. There's a good bit of downdraft coming from the opening around the drum. Shop projects that meet a need and do it on the cheap. That's my MO. This will probably be getting a lot of use in my shop. Visit me at simplyeasydiy.com, Facebook, and Pinterest. Don't forget to say hi. I'd also like to thank all my subscribers. It is an honor.